To be honest with you, I'm hoping that it's not true because it's kind of like a smack in the face. But anyway, to get to it, our WBA world champion at 154 pounds, Iris Landy Laura, may be facing an opponent that Andre Berto has defeated before in the past and Keith Thurman has defeated before in the past at 147 pounds. His name is Jan Zavek. I am T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live and I cover every single major fight live. Now, the 154-pound division is not really that deep. Now, of course, we got Floyd Mayweather, who's masquerading as a 154-pound fighter. But in my personal opinion, the best 154-pound fighter in the world is Ares Landy Laura. Whether you think he is boring, whether you think he is just a jab, jab, straight type of fighter, you know, not much punch variety, he is good. And then match them up against a lot of the 154 and 160 pounders, he would give them some trouble. But it seems as though looking at the 154 pound division is really not much there. He can't fight the Charlos because they're both trained by the same trainer. He already beat Austin Trout, so Canelo Alvarez and Miguel Cotto are fighting at 154 pounds. Anthony Mundine is fighting the Charles Hatley, and I'm thinking, well, who else would there be for him to fight? I would have loved to see him fight a James Kirkland. I would have loved to see him fight a... Um, a uh, Joshua Clotty. But for him to fight James Evek, let's be honest, I mean, it makes no sense. The date is supposed to be no the date is supposed to be November the twenty-fifth um of this year, twenty fifteen, and it's supposed to be an ESPN card from what I'm hearing. But it's like if that is the person who he is fighting, it's like really how does fighting a Jan Zavek face like help your career? He fought Austin Trout, fought Sewell Canelo Alvarez in a very close fight, even though I had Sewell Canelo winning and a lot of and there's others that have that had um Irish Lindy Laura winning. He goes on to fight Ishe Smith, Delvin Rodriguez, and who was the last person he fought? And it's crazy that I forgot because really they usually don't even matter. You know, and it's it's like it's like, what is he doing with his career? Are these the names that are being presented to him? Or is it promotional and political politics that's stopping him from fighting the fighters, you know, that we want to see him fight? And in my opinion, I'm going to honestly say that maybe he should think about venturing to 154 pounds. After all, I mean, 160 pounds. After all, he has fought at that, well, above the 154 pound limit, I believe, 10 times in his career you know to start getting some bigger fights even though he would be considered a small 160 pound fighter because of this is a guy who never weighs in any more any more than um 155 to 157 pounds less than 157 who did he fight last that's what i'm looking up he fought yeah sorkin alvarez isha smith delvin rodriguez and then if you fight Jan Zavek, it's like, you know, like all, of all the names that he could be fighting, you know, I'm thinking, is it because of politics? Majority of it is because of, because of politics. A rematch between him and Sol Canelo Alvarez, in my opinion, will never happen because of the promotional issues. And also Golden Boy, I don't think would put Canelo in another situation like that, you know, where where all all Iris Landy Lara has to do is land about 10 more punches and he would have won the fight. So, Venice Martirosian, you know, hell, listen, listen, give me a Carlos Molina too. Give me an Iris Landy Lara versus Carlos Molina too. He's got some unfinished business there. And they're both managed and advised by the same guy, Al Heyman. You know, and I'm just looking, Julian Williams, you got that fight. But I think that a fight like that, you, you really don't want to make too soon because Julian Williams has some good um, upside to him. And then that could be a bigger money fight later on in the future. But I'm looking through the 154 pound division. And ladies and gentlemen, it's not really too much there. But I'm just thinking of all the people, you, I would have rather you pick the name from the lower 20s or the 30s than to pick a guy that two 147 pounders, well known 147 pounders beat in Keith Thurman in Jan Zavek and Keith Thurman beating back in like 2012 or 2013, something like that. And then Andre Berto beat him after he lost to Victor Ortiz. So it's like, ugh. Some ugly PBC fights, man. I don't know how we put up with it sometimes. T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.